Hey everyone, welcome to Comics with Bueller. As always, I'm Bueller. Today's another episode of every single comic shop in America. Yes, I'm going to every shop in America. I've sold my house. I've sold 90% of what I own. And I bought a bus now called the Bueller Bus. And I travel America going to every single shop that I can. If I miss your shop the first time around, this is not a timed event. I'll be back in your neighborhood sometime. And you know, we can hang out, go to that shop, and go have some coffee. But today... We're taking our last stop in Albuquerque, and we're going to Age of Comics, and oh my god, we have saved the best for last. If you are a comic book fan, I know you are, you're going to love the books at this shop. They have everything you could ever imagine. Grails, keys, triple A grails, graded books. This is a collector's paradise for comics. It's fantastic. You're going to love the footage. Stick around towards the end of the video, because I'll show you what I bought there. And also, I ran into a friend, and he gave me some books, and I'll show you those as well. Okay, let's not waste any more time because I know you want to see the shop. I'll see you after the video. Okay, so finishing our trip through Albuquerque this time around, we have Age of Comics. And you know what? We saved the best for last. This shop is awesome. This shop, as you can see, is very large, very comic book themed, tall ceilings, lots of space. And you know what? They are all about the comic books. This is a comic book collector's dream. They have the other stuff. Yeah, they have some figures and they have some pops, but no... 80% of the store is all about comics, and you know what? It shows. They have keys, they have runs, they have Silver Age, they have Golden Age. This place is awesome. I've been here a couple times before. Every time I've been here, I've been totally amazed. They have a place called the Danger Room, which we'll be getting into that here in a little bit. Look at this one, Captain America Annual. That's one of my favorite Wolverine covers. But you know what? You can pretty much find whatever you want. There's the first appearance of Doc Sampson, Shadow Number 1, you name it, you could spend all day just looking at the wall books, not to mention the books in the long boxes, and we'll get to those as well. So, I did talk to a couple of the owners. It's actually owned by two brothers. Uh, the one brother who kind of does the uh, publicity for the shop, he was just leaving, so I didn't get a chance to talk or interview him. But I did get a chance to talk to the other brother a little bit. Um, look at this cool thing. This is a custom-made Sentinel coming out of the wall. And you know what? They got graded books as well. But uh, the other brother was telling me about the shop and how long they've been into collecting. They've both been into collecting quite a bit. I believe this is his Spider-Man run that he has up on the wall here. Look at all these great Spider-Man books. But uh, they actually put on the Comic-Con as well a couple years ago. And I actually, I think that's the first time I met them when they were talking about the Comic-Con. This is the Danger Room. Let's go in here. This thing is freaking amazing. I've been wanting to show you guys for this for a while i'm not going to edit too much on this i just want you to see what is in this room oh my gosh let's just be quiet and uh enjoy it okay i'll be back here in a minute <laughs> Okay, I can't take it. I just <laughs> look at that. Two Journey into the Mysteries with Thor, all those X Men great titles. You know what? This room is amazing. I've seen it before. I wanted to film it last time I was here. I just didn't get a chance to. But this time I wanted to show every book that was in the Danger Room. There's a Giant Size X Men number one, Incredible Hulk 181. First appearance of Scorpion right there. First appearance of Morbius right there. What's that? First appearance of uh, Black Panther. Uh, down one. First appearance of Thanos. First appearance of uh, Moon Knight. First appearance of Groot right there. Jeez. Uh, we got some DC books too. I mean, I believe that's the first appearance of Flash. First appearance of Wonder Woman, I think it's in here. Just look at these books. They're just sitting there waiting to be looked at and <laughs> none of them have price tags on i don't even know if they sell these books i think these are just part of their personal collection that they want to share with people so people can see them i mean there's the classic mcfarland cover that's a little newer compared to the rest of the books but you know what it fits but just look at all this stuff this is called the danger room and yeah it's dangerous i mean just add up the amount of money that's in this room millionaires so anyway very cool all right let's go to some of the boxes here obviously i'm looking for spawn they had a nice selection of spawn i actually went through here and uh they were a little bit uh out of my price range you guys all know i'm kind of cheap and stuff you know and and these were uh just a little bit outside of my price range which is different from a lot of people so i didn't uh pick up any of these spawns at least i don't think i did 
but they had a nice selection of this. And look at all these long boxes. I had a lot of fun just going through here. Here's more spawns. And I might have got that one. I might have picked that one. Or maybe I already had it. Um, but yeah, you can see just long box after long box. And I took my time and I filmed a lot of footage just going through boxes because I know you guys like to see books. And this comic shop is all about comic books. Like I said in the very beginning, you know, the owner is a big comic book fan. They do comic book conventions. They've done their own exclusives, I believe, as well. Um, there you go. You got some, the, I believe the ones on the bottom were a dollar. I, I'm not sure if they were or not, but I believe the books on the bottom shelf were all a dollar. A lot of them weren't bagged and boarded, so I think that's what they were, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, here we go. I found some Punisher stuff. Here's the Punisher Classic Series. Number two, number three, love that run. Punisher number two, just kind of flipping through here. You know, I'm, guys, I'm looking for those Punisher um, War Machine storyline. Don't know if they had any here. I love that Jim Lee cover that I just showed right there. One of my favorite Jim Lee uh, Punisher War journals. My phone's going off. People sending me messages. I'm trying to film this video. I'm trying to do the... Uh, voiceover hopefully you guys enjoy the voiceover like i said unfortunately i didn't get a chance to um interview the uh owners of the shop because the the one guy that would do the interview he was gone for the day so next time around when i get to albuquerque and this is a place i'll go again because as you guys know my daughter lives in albuquerque so i will come back to the shop and maybe do an interview with the owner and spend some more time and show some more books that they have but you know what? This just goes on and on. <laughs> Look at this. This is another section. Another section of books and stuff. And uh, it just never ends. That's why I like this shop. You know, there's the danger room over there. There's the bottom shelf. Like I said, I think they were a dollar. But don't quote me on that. Um, but they had them separated by section. Like those are all independent books. Then they have Marvel and DC. Here's the pop wall of course but look at the cool stuff they have on the wall they have x-men animated going on you know they're looping the 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 show and everything they just got a bunch of really cool stuff in this shop and it's a very large shop they got a bathroom everything you need you can go there there and hang out all day long a few things in the cases not too much let's go ahead and look back at some books gi joe is another title i'm looking for um, they mainly had the IDW ones, I noticed. I love that cover of J.I. Joe with Storm Shadow. There's number one. Here we go. This is the regular Marvel stuff. The yearbooks. Special missions. Transformers. Here's a uh, newer G.I. Joe. Those ones are getting spendy right now. They're hard to find. Very low print for a high number G.I. Joes. But I wasn't just looking for uh, my books. I, I mean, I always look for my books, the ones I'm trying to complete. But I did go through another great cover and look at some other books that you guys might like to see. Like, here we go. Here's some Daredevil. This is just for Bob. Bullseye Bob. How you doing, buddy? Just talked to him today on the phone. Look at all this Daredevil goodness. Frank Miller. Good times right there. But, yeah, I wanted this video to be about the comic books. You know, we go to a lot of shops. I see a lot of things, a lot of figures, and a lot of cards, games, and stuff like that. Not to say that they don't have that stuff, but they really focus on comic books here. And that's what I wanted to show you. I mean, they got Dazzler. <laughs> you know, DC stuff, you name it. I mean, just just packed and loaded. And I know they have more stuff in the back, um, which is great. You know, they're not going to run out anytime soon. And eventually we'll get to the front of the store and I'll show you what else they got up there. Here's some more Batman run. A little bit of 80s goodness right here. Kind of miss these. The Beast. Year 3. Remember that one? All good stuff. Fast forward a little bit. There's a bunch of ones I never got. Wasn't into it back then. Because they're in the 600 range, I think. What else we got? Deceased. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm trying to find my deceased books. And I think I did find one I needed in here. And these were just, uh, these were uh, newer issues, but back issues. And these were all just cover price. Um, I think I do find one I need. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, well, I might have needed that one. 
trying to get all the uh, uh, Funky Cole Matina covers. And I think I'm missing the Superman one. There's the uh, Momoko one. It's a weird looking. Come on, Superman. Superman. There it is right there. That's the one I needed. Not bad at all. Made me happy. This is behind the counter. This is at the cash register. Look at all this good stuff at the cash register. What a what a money grab right there. I mean, you go to the cash register to buy your stuff, and then you're looking at this wall of grails and keys. Give me a break. Love it. Ugh. All right, I can't take it. <laughs> Now we're on to the new wall. This is all the new books. Um, I think they pretty much keep up the three or the four months of books on the wall. Um, I'm kind of just going back and forth, going down this aisle. Sorry, it's a little wavy. I don't know what it was. Maybe I was limping or something. I don't know. But anyway, it just keeps going. And as you can see, there's tons of books behind every book. So if you're looking for, you know, if you got issue 10 that came out, and if you're looking for issue, you know, 6, 7, 8, it's probably there. They got them all. Uh, it's just awesome. They must order a ton, a ton of stuff. All right, take a look at this. A beautiful wall, just, you know, six rows deep and just thick amounts of books just sitting there waiting for uh, to be purchased. It's just a thing of beauty, right? <laughs> Like I said, I said it earlier, I said it a couple times, this shop is all about comic books. Here's True Believers. They still got a bunch of those. Um, more stuff on the wall, more key books on the other side of the wall. It just it keeps going, man. There's the recount, number one. On and on. It's a collector's dream. It doesn't stop. We're almost, we got a couple more minutes on this video. They got something really cool here coming up. Look at this saxophone dude, Lost Boys. I used to have that book. They do have some statues. I went ahead and filmed a few of those. A couple here and there, Wolverine. Um, let's see. Uh, I can't even remember their names. Um, we got the Boba Fetts, the Red Guard. I don't know what their name is. I used to have those toys. They are pretty cool. What else they got? Anything else on the statues wise? Yeah, there you go. I got the Magneto. That's a different outfit, I guess. Maybe that's a different Magneto. What else we got? They got Sabretooth and Storm. They do have toys. Just a little bit. It's not their huge focus. They just have enough to kind of fill up some wall space, which is great. And look at this awesome pinball machine. A Spider-Man classic pinball machine. Love it. I don't know if it worked, but you know what? Just having it there is pretty cool. Get another kind of wide shot here. More pops. These are look how nice the aisles are. Nice big uh, aisles, easy to get around. They got their DC stuff. All the stores got those now. More pops. Just an amazing, amazing shop. Really enjoyed my time here. More of the wall of new books. Just goes on and on and on. We're just about done filming. I'm losing my voice here. There's a Vampirella. Look at this. One more uh, panoramic shot of this shop. Just awesome. Top to bottom. Really uh, enjoyed it. And then next to it is a coffee shop. And that makes it even more perfect. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that shop. Like I said, it's just a collector's dream come true. I am going to have a hard time doing a pros and con list for this one, but I'll do my best. A lot of pros, really going to be hard to think of a con. But let me show you the books I picked up. I didn't get a lot because honestly, I didn't uh, have a lot of funds at the time. So I just picked up some things. And to be totally honest, now I remember, I think they gave these to me for free or we traded some books back and forth. So it didn't cost me a thing. I had some exclusives. They wanted them, so we took care of business. Anyway, you saw this one in the video. This is Deceased. Uh, this is uh, number two. This is the Funky Cold Matina Superman cover. Not bad. I got Hulk number four because I missed that one. I heard the story is getting better, so I wanted that. Uh, nice House on the Lake number uh, eight. 
Need to read that. I found my number two I was looking for, so I'm happy about that. And the last thing I bought there was this one, the Sandman Universe Nightmare Country number one. This just came out that week when I was at the shop, and uh, I wanted to pick it up. So there you go. Those are the only books I got. I didn't buy a lot. As you can see, there's tons of books there for everyone to enjoy. And uh, you know what? If I had a little bit more uh, funds in my pocket, I could go nuts, just like you guys could do as well. But it was just an awesome store. So let's go ahead and get to the pros and cons. Pros, comic book collector's dream. Uh, awesome store. Uh, custom store, you know, with the Sentinel coming out of the wall. Uh, just has personality. Has all the books you want. Has all the new books you want. Has all the old books. Back issues, all that good stuff. Dollar issues. A little bit of toys, a little bit of games, a little bit of that stuff. But that's not the focus it's the comic books, and uh, I gotta tell you, it's nice to see that. You know, I've been to a lot of shops, some big shops. I went to a shop just recently that was 9,000 square feet, and only about 1,000 of it was comic books. The rest was all games, and that kind of hurt. But you know what? It, was, it wasn't a bad shop. But anyway, this shop, awesome. Pros, I, I there's too many to list, to be uh, totally honest. Uh, let me tell you the cons. I really struggle with this, and this is a con for my personal preference. And this, uh, I've said this before, it's just because i got old knees and it's hard for me to bend down to get on the floor when there's boxes on that bottom shelf. And they do have a bunch of boxes on the bottom shelf. And that's the case in every comic shop, 90% of the comic shops, to be honest. And I just struggle getting down there and getting those books. So a lot of times I just pass. Um, I recommended to some shops that, hey, maybe you should have one of those little uh, uh, chairs that kind of roll like the gardening chairs that roll back and forth. That would work out or something. I don't know. It's just the old knees, man. That's all it is. That's the only con I can think of. And that's just has something to do with the, the fatness that I'm carrying around and the, the bones and stuff like that. So that, that that's it. Everything else, absolutely perfect. Love the shop. Can't wait to go back. Looking forward to seeing more keys, more great goodness, everything they have to offer. Age of Comics. Go there. Albuquerque, New Mexico. You're not going to be disappointed. Okay, like I said, I got some books from a friend of mine. And we actually went and hung out at Old Town uh, Albuquerque, which is actually one of my favorite places. And he gave me a nice stack of books. And you guys might be familiar with this gentleman because he's been in the comments during like the auctions. He's bought a lot of my books. But these are from Descending Climax. How you doing, my friend? Uh, this is G.I. Joe number 59. He signed it for me because I always like that. It's pretty cool. Um, here is number 67. Like uh, he knows. And you guys know I'm trying to get a G.I. Joe run. Uh, number 54. Uh, number 56, number 58, G.I. Joe Special Missions Force, number 1, G.I. Joe, number 61, Special Missions Force, number 5, and we have uh, G.I. Joe, number 64, so a bunch of G.I. Joes, and he didn't stop there. He's a good dude. Let's see. Give me some spawn goodness. Some spawn 284. 284 spawn. Uh, Matina cover. Spawn number six. Not bad. Thank you, sir. And spawn 286. Cover two of eight. Apparently, there's eight covers for that one. So that's awesome. So that's all from the setting climax. He also sent me that uh, Roadhouse homage book uh, a while back. And uh, so I do have a copy of that, and that's really awesome. So I uh, had a great time hanging out with him at Old Town. We actually just sat on the bus and talked for like a couple hours. We could have talked for another couple hours. We should have gotten something to eat. So next time, man, let's get a coffee and get something to eat and hang out. But that was awesome. That was my whole time in Albuquerque. Went to some great shops, hung out with some amazing people, got to see my daughter, which was um, uh, amazing, obviously. And just all in all, a really good time. But uh, I think we finished the best... Uh, shop for last the age of comics if you're a comic book fan if you want comic books that's a place to go along with all the other shops i was kind of pretty happy with everything i saw in albuquerque so uh we're moving on to another state we're gonna hit uh i think the next video is a couple um shops in texas i could be wrong but you know what i got about uh, 10 or 12 shops still in the videos to make for you guys so i'm gonna try to have two more videos coming this week with more shops i uh, hope you guys enjoy this hope you guys enjoy the pros and cons and uh i know the shops appreciate it and man this was just awesome sharing this with you guys all right that's all i got for you don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to live your best life you know what to do i'll see you next time 
拜。